Hi there, friends. My name is Cassie. Thank you so much for joining me for our Kaleidoscope story time today. We are going to read a book called The Pout Pout Fish by Deborah Deason. Now, in this book, the pout pout fish thinks that he can only act and feel pouty and sad all of the time. Along the way, we meet some of his friends who try to convince him that there are more possibilities for the pout pout fish than feeling and acting glum and sad all the time. Let's read together and see if any of those friends can convince the pout pout fish to turn his frown upside down. Before we get started with our book, we are going to pull some tools from our actor's toolkit. Now, when we turn into an actor, we have three special tools that we carry with us all the time that we can use. The first tool we will be using is our body. Our body. Actors use their bodies to create stories. Can you take your hands and tap your hips, then your shoulders, and then draw a circle around your face and say, body. The second tool that actors use is their voice. Their voice. Let's take our fingers and make a letter V, 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 v with them and point that letter V to where our v, v, v voice comes out of our bodies and say voice, voice. Now, the third tool that actors use is their imagination. Can you use your fingers and point to where our imagination exists in our heads. And we'll tap one time for each sound in the word imagination. One more time, ready? Imagination. Now, let's review those three tools that all actors use when they are acting. The first tool is our body. Our body. The second tool is our voice. Voice. And the third tool is our imagination. Imagination. All right, friends. We've got all our tools ready to read our book, The Pout Pout Fish. In our book, The Pout Pout Fish, you will notice that a lot of the words rhyme. That means that they sound similar to each other. And you will also notice that the pout pout fish chooses to repeat some of the same words all throughout the book. Now, these are things that we use when we make music as well. And when we hear the same words over and over in a song, that's called the chorus. So friends, we are going to use our bodies and our ears to show where the chorus is in the pout pout fish. 
when you hear the words, I'm a, we will use our hands to pat a beat and say the words of the chorus together. And then we will hear the sounds, blub, blub, blub. And that's the end of the chorus. And I will give you a cue to stop patting the beat to show that we hear it is the end of that chorus. Now let's practice this together. Ready? We'll hear the words. I'm a pop pop fish. And then we hear the sounds blub, blub, blub. Just like that. Okay, I think we're all ready to read our book, The Pop Pop Fish, now. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. I'm a pout, pout fish with a pout, pout face. So I'll spread the dreary worries all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your cross tone thrown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend, Nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pet, pet fish with a pet, pet. Face. So I spread the dreary worries all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pet, pet fish with a pet, pet face. So I spread the dreary worries all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a squid, quite a slender squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope. How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pup, pup fish with a pup, pup. So I spread the dreary worries all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hooky bulky sulking is an unattractive trait. Ooh. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Eight My Chum, with a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. I'm a pop pop fish with a pop pop face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Now, along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout. Mwah! And then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks. 
and speaks at last. My friends, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss, kiss fish with a kiss, kiss face for spreading cheery cherries all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. All right, friends. Thank you so much for reading and padding along to the pout pout fish with me. <laughs> All right, friends, we are going to do something called a character study. You might have noticed that there are different animal friends we meet in the story, the pout pout fish. Each of these animal friends is a different character in the book. And you might also have noticed that I chose to use different voices for each character that we saw in our book. Can you take your fingers and make a V with them and point those fingers to your throat and say, voice, voice. When we choose or use different voices or tones with our voice, it helps us to know how the different characters in our stories might be feeling or acting. So if we think about our first friend in the book, the clam, I noticed the words grin, and thought of the word cheerful. And so when I thought about making up a voice for that clam friend, I thought about what a cheerful, helpful friend might sound like. So we're going to try using our voice in different ways for each of our characters. Now, we will be using the words Hey, Mr. Fish, how are you feeling today? Can you say that with me on three? Ready? One, two, three. Hey, Mr. Fish, how are you feeling today? So if we want to pretend to be that cheerful, happy clam, we could maybe put a smile on our face and I turned my clam into a cheerful, fancy clam, just like this. And we can say, Hey, Mr. Fish, how are you today? <laughs> it's pretty silly. I love making different voices. It's very fun to do. Now, the second character we met along the way in our story was the jellyfish. And when I was reading the book, I noticed that the author used words like floats and glides. And it made me think that this jellyfish is someone who likes to go with the flow and is very laid back in the way that he sees the world around him. So I chose to speak in a slow and connected way when I thought about the voice of the jellyfish. So friends, can you pretend that you're feeling really relaxed and calm? And can you say, hey, Mr. Fish, how are you feeling today? Let's try that together on three. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, Mr. Fish, how are you feeling today? All right, now, the third character we ran into was the squid. And the words I read about the squid were 
squirmy and squelchy and impolite. Some people might just say that the squid is a little more direct with Mr. Fish than others, all right? So when I thought of the voice of a squid and what might sound a little bit impolite, my voice got a little higher in pitch and I spoke a little bit more quickly. Can you say, hey, Mr. Fish, how are you feeling today? On three with me, ready? One, two, three. Hey, Mr. Fish, how are you feeling today? All right, our fourth character in the Pout Pout Fish was the octopus. And this octopus wanted to tell it to the Pout Pout Fish straight so he didn't get confused at all. So I thought about using a louder voice with that character. Friends, can you say, hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. With me on three, ready? One, two, three. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Very nice. Now, the last character we met was our beautiful, shimmering fish friend. I noticed the word silent when this character came into the book. So we can know that she used her actions to help Mr. Fish change his mind about how he could feel. So friends, can you show a strong and silent expression on your face? Just like that. All right. Thank you so much for doing this character study with me. Maybe now, when you're reading other stories, you can imagine different voices in your head for all of the different characters you encounter while you're reading. I want to thank you so much for joining me today for our Kaleidoscope story time, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye everyone.